So uh, our uh, next speaker, uh, he's a VP of Product Management at Sergon. Please welcome to the stage, Erez Aviv. Okay. Um, I know that it's uh, late and uh, it's not uh, in favor of this uh, time of the day. Everybody is relatively very tired from the last two days of good work. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use Marty and, Doctor and Doc Brown uh, to take us uh, back to the future. So looking at the people here, I guess that everybody were born before 1985 where this um, movie were taken. Um, if you are not, try to grab an uh, old man like me to catch up because this movie is a cult. Okay. <clears throat> looking forward uh, three, four years from now in 2027, 71% um, out of the subscribers will use uh, 5G. This means that it will be around 6 billion of uh, users. Overall, the revenue will grow by 14%, but the ARPU, the average revenue per user, is going to be dropped by 4%. Some say that even more. It means that uh, when you are managing your network, it must be very efficient. If we are looking at the overall total cell site, if we are dealing now with 1 million cell site, in 2027 we will deal with over 6.5 million. This means six times more. And if we are looking at the compound aggregate grow rate, it's around 45% per year. Most of it is going to be for the small cell. And by the way, 60% of this grow is going to be wireless. Why? Because of two things. One, the cost. Second is the time to market. So, if I'm taking the DeLorean car and trying to go back what we have done since 2019 and what we want to achieve to reach to 2027 to gain this revenue and to be more efficient with our network, um, so let's go uh, and see. So, first of all, in 2019, I think that um, there was the de first definition of the disaggregated open router, the DCSG, which also um, uh, gave a definition about uh, synchronization Ethernet and 1588, mainly for the mobile base stations. In 2020, there was an RFI for the open, or open soft hall uh, that divided into three parts, three segments, the hardware OD uh, ODUs, the hardware IDU, IDU and uh, the NOS software. Um, Saragon, uh, were awarded in all these three segments. And how, we are, how we've done it? <clears throat> we've done it with our IP50FX200. This is our disaggregated cell site gateway that were developed uh, and designed specifically and according to the TIP requirements. And the main idea is that this disaggregated cell site gateway, whether it's layer two or layer three, um, combine inside of it a virtual indoor unit. So the idea is to have two in one. When you are talking about cell site, you have the indoor unit, you have the radio on the, on, the, on the tower itself, and then you have the IDUs, the indoor units, and afterwards you have a cell site router. The idea is why not to combine these two boxes into one and to be much more efficient in terms of CAPEX and of course OPEX. So this is what we are doing. It will help us to uh, do much better traffic optimization because this box, based on the Qumran UX, a chipset also supporting the layer one link bonding, which can combine any kind and any speeds of ports. <clears throat> it's optimal for the 5G services using the 1588 TC and BC, of course, and the TCO reduction. Uh, it's very well aware why we have it. So, how we are doing it? Like everything in life that's split in, every good thing in life that's split into three, so does our solution. When we are talking about the open hardware platform, we have our own uh, developed uh, uh, hardware, but our solution can be fit and fixed into any kind of commercial off-the-shelf platform. This is the first openness that we have. Secondly, for the network operation system, we are using IPI Infusion. IPI Infusion is our partner. We are very honored and pleased to work with them. We think that they are the best in the class uh, when it comes to Layer 3 uh, NOS. And uh, uh, we are seeing them as a partner for the next long years that to come. 
on top of it, this is our flavor that we put. This is our radio aware open networking. This is our radio management. And the idea is that this will be the glue in between the radios on the towers to the uh, networking switch downstairs. So any kind of degradation, alarms, events that you have on the radio itself will be uh, forward towards the disaggregated cell cell gateway to take the actual decisions. <clears throat> so if we are looking at what happened with, for example, split mount solution up until now, and probably we will see it in the coming year or two uh, still, is that you have the radio in the unit, and right afterwards we have the cell site router. When we are talking about two-in-one solution, we are talking taking this IDU and the router all together in a two-in-one solution. So taking the IP50FX and connecting all radios towards it solves the solution. This is a dramatic capex and opex saving. Okay, how it can be done? As mentioned, here we have a virtual indoor unit that speaks with any all outdoor radios and really can show and share everything towards the radio to take the better decisions. Um, a nice case study that we have, we were asked to upgrade a network, a, a mobile network operator asked us to upgrade his own network. Uh, it was a split mount solution and the challenge was um, really to increase the capacity for the radios and for the RDUs. We use it with the DCSG and by this saving two-in-one using only single box, we save 30% of the upgrade project itself. We saved over 77% in power consumptions, and this is not just by using our DCSGHS cell side gateway, but also using all outer with wide bands up to 224 channel, uh, channel bandwidth that can reach to uh, two gigs in a carrier. And what's more important, that this is something that our customer really like is that our router has no hidden cost. So all the ports are open, there are no licenses, all the features are there, and everything that you see, this is exactly what you get with no hidden cost. The, la the next three slides, maybe I want just to share with you um, a survey that we are doing with uh, First Wireless. It's still interim solution uh, results. Um, but it shows that the main important thing, the main motivation for operators that we are speaking, and currently it's above 30 operator, we, we are targeting to reach 100. <coughs> the main important motivation is the flexibility of the disaggregated cell site gateway. Of course, they want to reduce the capex. But there are still kind of challenges that we are facing. And the things that the operator are really afraid of is the maturity of the solution, this is first. And secondly, the interoperability with the existing network that they have. If we are looking even deeper towards the microwave backhauling, the wireless backhauling, there are some things that even though that 20% out of our customers says that there is no problem, they can use it, still there are customers that really afraid of using all outdoor radios because each one of them will need external IP each one of them will need to uh, be managed uh, with a cluster and the traffic optimization will not be there. So for this, we are saying that our radio were open networking, our glue that takes the router and connect it with the radio in a very smart way answer all of this. So by this I'm finished, but I will just summarize that um, this aggregated cell site gateway is really seems to be the answer for the next generation of uh, indoor unit or wireless backhauling. There are challenges. We need to work on the maturity of the solution and also to work about the interop with all the all already existed uh, network. We are going there, we are winning, and with the collaboration and the support of this community, we will win even more. Thank you very much. <laughs>